All right, so I've had this thing for about a day. This thing is amazing. I like this so much. It flips so well, like unbelievably well. It, it fans unbelievably well. Like, it's just so good. One double choker, easy. Tolerances. Stacked. Just stacked. Absolutely. Swing. So much free swing over here. It's ridiculous. I'm cutting that early because it'll take like 30 seconds for each handle to, <laughs> to stop moving. Um, there is only one complaint I have about this. Oh my god. Um, there's no jimping, which he just released what the v2 would look like and the v2 is gonna have jimping so uh problem solved i suppose can't wait to buy the v2 because this thing is great i mean like first of all listen to how nutty this is Bro, this is nutty. I love this so much. And it's glossy. It sounds like a Kraken, actually. It's such a good sound. I can't get over it. Um, And the pivots don't come loose at all. And it's interesting because he doesn't lock tight his Balazongs. And the pivots haven't moved one bit. It's pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Um, so it's 9.9 .9 inches long. I don't know how long the handles and the blade are separately, but altogether 9.9. .9, so basically 10 inches. Um, it's a channeled boy. It got bear, uh, bushings. I was going to say bearings. Um... You have to screw in the Zen pins, which bothers me, but it's 125 bucks. Come on. Channeled. So, uh, 440C blade, I'm pretty sure. Um, I like the logo. Um, the logo matches the Balazong. Check out that whole pattern. Three dots, one line, three dots, one line. Or, I guess, six dots, but... <laughs> Whatever. Alright, yeah, let's touch on design. Um, handles are beautiful. I'm sorry if it looks weird. I got oil on this because I just tuned it. Uh, well, tightened the Zen pins and put KPL, but... Eh. Um, anyway. is really nice, but I gotta say, the blade looks weird. I'm not the biggest fan of the trainer blade. Or, I guess, trainer, because he doesn't have a live blade for this. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Oh, and, um, if you wonder why these are different colored, you know, this is blacked out, this is silvered out, I guess. Uh, that's, there's no deeper meaning, it's just silver, or, silver, um, screws weren't available, and... Yeah, silver screws weren't available, so just blacked it out. Flipping it. Flipping it is really fun. Um, I guess we'll touch on rollovers. Rollovers are just really, really nice. Chaplains are pretty good stuff. Um... I don't know what other chaplains exist. Um, that's a chaplain, I guess. Chaplains are great. Um, they, the Balzong hugs your finger, and you can go really fast without dropping it, which is nice because, you know, it's just nice. You don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hand when you're doing a chaplain. You, ha you have to worry about that with the glider arctic, but not with this thing. Um... 
Rollovers and trap ones are nice. Fanning. Oh. Fanning was really nice. Um, oh, and reverse fanning was good too. Um, oh, that was a bad parabolic. Whatever, we'll get him next time. Fanning, good. Ladders. Ladders are slippery because the gym, there is no jimping. Um, so, can't wait for the V2 for jimping because then this thing will be a beast. Scissors, I suck at scissors, but, um... Uh, let me try it again. Scissors are... Yeah, that's close enough. Scissors are pretty good. Uh, and when you're actually good at scissors, they're even better. <laughs> so, dang. This thing overall, good Balazong. For only having it one day, I'm surprised how good it is. I definitely recommend buying this. Uh, this thing is great. And for the price, 125 bucks. The sound. The flippability. I, can you really complain about this thing? I don't think you can. This thing is just way too good for the money. So, NRB, keep on going, man. These things are great. And I'm 100% going to buy your V2. So, I guess that was the review, um, or overview, <sighs> um, yeah.